I can't quite believe I've overlooked this club for so long. Let's do it, and let's do it now. That one. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. I'd like to welcome you to the channel if you're not new to the channel, but guys, if you are new to this YouTube channel, take two seconds, hit that subscribe button below, and also make sure you ring the notification bell, that way you won't miss any of my daily, yes, 365 golf-related content. Today we're talking Cleveland CXB Full Face Wedge. Now, so many people on the channel have been asking me to review this golf club for weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months and months and I can't quite believe I've overlooked it for so long because as you all know when it comes to short game I love taking the the sexy option the sleek option the option that probably you shouldn't take but we all know that you're probably gonna end up doing so and this club can help me with that like a lot and you see the reason why I'm not overlooking it anymore uh, you might notice in my walk I've actually hurt my knee um, again which is a little bit annoying and i'm starting to think i should probably go and get it sorted but um i really don't fancy having a few weeks off because it's summer and we're finally playing golf again so terrible timing on my part but great timing for the cleveland full face cxb wedge you see guys this wedge offers a huge bounce at 10 degrees a big half cavity design rotex face technology fourth generation and c-shaped sole grind as you can see there so today we're going to put this club to the test for lots and lots of different shots now usually with a club of this bounce you don't have the versatility you don't have the options to play a closed face open place flop shot low shot high shot spinny shot non-spinny shot now if you do have the skill set which anyone Mevzi? Now, if you do have the skill set to do that, you can do that with this club due to its C-shaped sole design. Right, so a nice simple shot to start with. Little pitch. Oh, that, that was very nice. That felt... Uh, that came out a little bit toey, but um, we've got the full face scoring line, so... Winner. How much spin can we get on these shots as well? Lots. You can see that I'm playing these in quite low, quite spinny, and they're actually all fairly close. My strike pattern has been quite um, consistent, is the word I'll use. Um, consistently poor, they're all out of the toe. And that's where, for me, sometimes a club like this that does offer the full face scoring lines and all the technology that we've already gone through for forgiveness can help quite a lot and you see there's a huge misconception with clubs like this that you have to be a terrible chipper you have to have a pathetic short game you have to be you have to be at times like me but then sometimes i just think why make it difficult for yourself why not integrate all this technology into your short game we do it with a driver don't we and you see cleveland really aren't trying to remake the wheel here we've seen all this technology before but not in one package Go on then. And I often wonder when I see a new wedge come to the market or a new putter come to the market, basically a club that will help you score better potentially, if it offered you an extra five yards, an extra 10 yards, a bigger, <laughs> you know where I'm going with that. Then would you be more likely to buy it? Would you be more likely to spend 139 pounds on it if it offered you more um, don't know. Go on, go, go. Definitely using all of these full face scoring lines in this video. Right, that sat down a little bit. They're just delightful. I almost feel like sometimes when you do have the full face scoring line, such as the TaylorMade High Toe, the Ping I2, the Cleveland CBX full face wedge, does it sometimes take away some of the misconceptions of you have to strike it central every time? Because yes, it's good to strike it central, and yes, you should always probably try and learn to strike it central. But if I'm going to chip four balls out of four to there, um, 
Does that particularly matter? I've wiped it away for effect, but you can see it there. So one of the things that Cleveland do talk about with this new CBX high toe wedge is versatility. Can I get it up out of the bunker using this sole? Can I open the face up? And that's exactly what we're about to find out today. Oh, oh, that's delightful. Oh, James, why is this not in your bag? One of the things I absolutely love about this wedge is the bronze looking colour. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I imagine in time with bunker shots and stone chips and things, you might lose some of that look, but, but I often think that can help a wedge as much as hinder it, because as long as you don't strike them all out the toe, yeah, probably not. I do find it quite interesting because once upon a time to sell wedges, all the companies had to do was promise you more spin, promise you more backspin, promise you sexy shots that land next to the flag, spin back and impress all your mates. Now I must feel like people are, people are understanding now that's not necessarily going to happen because of the legislation we've got for groove depth and width and size and all the rest. So now we've had to actually make clubs more forgiving, we've had to make them more usable. Hence why we've got this full face design, hence why we've got this half cavity back, hence why we've got this mahoosive sole on there. Let's see if we can get some more bunker shots out there. That is so easy. I mean, I'm not a bad bunker player myself normally anyway, but that, you can really see as well, limping in the bunker just to show you this strike pattern, you can really see as well how that club's just gliding through the sand each time there. That's no coincidence, that's, um, that's easy. But then it's not a 350 yard drive, is it? So maybe it's not gonna sell quite as much as a driver. Oh, that's just, again, it's just incredible. Right, last one. I'm gonna play this a little bit more square faced and just see if I can get it over this lip. It's sat down just a touch. Oh, wow. You're not going to believe this, but that's that's again four shots which out of a bunker you're worrying if you're going to make par, you're potentially thinking I might leave it in there and make double. Two circle of friendships, one that you'd hope and one that, okay, that one might catch you out, but three out of four ain't bad. And I don't think they're the words, but um... right, let's see what it's like for spin from 50 to 60 yards because that's like the sexy bit isn't it so guys earlier on i briefly ran you through the technology that are in at these cleveland's cbx wedges so i've kept on talking about the full face grooves and the high toe section we've seen that before in so many different wedges in so many different golf clubs that's nothing new it basically means if you get it out the toe which i've been doing you still generate some spin you still generate that consistent flight and you're not penalized too much now that in turn works with the half cavity design you'll see on the back of this club that it is more toe weighted so it's more biased towards the toe so if you do strike out the toe you still get that CG, you still get that strike, you still get, like I said, consistency. They work hand in hand very well, and I think they have been working pretty well for me today. The Rotex face technology is the fourth generation, and that is designed to give you the most aggressive face milling and sharper groove pattern provided for even more spin and stopping power than ever before. And finally, the C-shaped sole, as we mentioned earlier, is designed to give you versatility to be able to open the face, close the face, and play different shots. So that, in a nutshell, is CBX Legends. I'm hoping the camera's safe there, but not 100% sure. Now obviously when you do this test as well, it, that helps. Like, I know I mentioned about the lines, but that helps. You see, now that was actually a lot of fun. So we're gonna take you back a little bit further. You'll see the flag locations now moved and we do have flag cam on there as well. We're gonna go back about 80 yards, maybe 70, depending how long I can walk with this knee and see if we can land it long and spin it back. Cause really that's the only other time backspin's actually gonna help you. So many people want backspin I'll land it 20 feet short anyway and finish 30, 40 foot short. So I always remember John Daly saying at a clinic, someone said, John, how do I get more backspin? How do I get it to spin back? And he said, well, how far do you hit your driver? They said, oh, about 250. He said, well, why do you to come backwards then? I thought that was quite funny. Should have probably bought a range finder here. Oh, come on. Spin. Oh, he stopped on a dime as well. It still didn't come back, but... It's 
spin. Mm. We need the balls to land it a little bit longer. Oh, that one. That one. Go on then. <laughs> I really hope that camera is still running because I'm actually really impressed with myself here. Right, last one. Off the bank. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to put these back. Now, I must say that this is that easy to use. I think it may well potentially find its way into Fox's bag because this is this is the area where he needs to improve and stop hitting those kind of duff shots around the green. So I think a wedge like this might be perfect for him. I mean, to be honest, looking at where they are, I could do worse than putting it in my own bag. I mean, how many times have I had that kind of distance in on this hole and not hit it that close? That's... Uh... Hmm. So you see guys, those chips were that good with this wedge that the guys have even come to change the hole location because I was getting too close. Is that what's happened? Mate, you've ruined it round here. <laughs> Bit of zippage. <laughs> so guys, there you go. That is my opinions on the Cleveland CBX full face wedge. For me, what I like about it isn't the amount of technology that's rammed into it. It is the ease of use. It pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin. I can't get over how I've struck the face of that in the middle finally it only took um, a full video but I've tested it from the side of the green I've tested it from the bunker and I've tested it from 50 to 60 yards which is where I think for me I will be playing most of these shots and I'll tell you now with a wedge with less bounce on I would have potentially duffed at least the last one maybe even more of them but you guys saw the results hopefully with the spin on there if the camera was working which I'm sure it has been doing so guys there you go thank you so much for watching I really hope you have enjoyed that if you have smash that subscribe button below leave us a like comment below if this was a driver, would you buy it? You weren't expecting that, were you? Oi.